Hello everybody, welcome to another video tutorial. This one's on how to make miniature buildings out of cardboard. So let's get started. First, go ahead and get uh, various grades of cardboard. Empty pizza boxes works good, as well as uh, some empty cereal boxes. Um, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going ahead and uh, just applying glue to this. It's, again, vi visually explanatory. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, just starting off with the cardboard, making a building. Um, what I did with that first piece is a little walkway. Uh, some kind of Star Wars sci-fi building that I'm that I'm gonna make out of cardboard. And you, what I, you, you know, like I said, self-explanatory. You kind of glue on the pieces there. Now this building is very, very, very small scale. Um, the, a person uh, for a proper size to this building would be maybe half a centimeter. So it's super small scale. You know, you could. When you when you do make buildings, you're definitely going to want to make them a larger scale than this. Um, but I just made this small and really fast uh, for the purposes of this video tutorial. What I'm doing here is taking the strips of the cereal box and taping it together on the back side, and I'm bending it so I get kind of a V shape, and that's going to be uh, the side rail for my little walkway bridge, uh, as you could see right there. Now, you know, go ahead put glue on the underside of that and uh, you do it to the to right there to the same side to the un other side and that's just the start of your walkway platform and uh, this is the platform right here uh, you know use anything I went ahead and used a big candle to get the circular shape and uh, now I'm pretty much going to attach it right there. Now I'm going to flip that over. What you're going to do is add glue underneath it just to make it more strength and, and sturdy and whatnot. Now I'm going to go ahead again with the cereal box cardboard and give it that wrap around on the edges. Now um, this whole thing, uh, what I did is I pretty much built this as I was going along. I had no preconceived idea of what I was doing. I was just doing it as I went along. Um, you know and this is the actual structure of the building that I'm assembling right here which is probably like 30, 40, 50 stories high uh, in scale down of course and as you can see right there I'm just kind of gluing like an, a, a, that, that is the top you know go ahead glue that on there cut that off now what you can do I did this extremely quickly and extremely sloppy um, but if you're if this is something you're going to do you know definitely take your time with it you could find um, different kinds of glues hot glue the reason I use that is because it dries very very quickly and you can move on um, but you know definitely measurements is something you know you're gonna want to measure all the little strips and and uh, as you can see this is important what I'm doing here is on the face of the building I'm giving it basically a 3D texture to it or, or a 3D, three dimensions to it as you could see that's going to go on the side of the building and they're going to couple up like that the reason why I'm cutting this part out here is because I need that walkway to go into the side of the building you're not going to see that big hole right there so that's nothing to worry about you see right there where it's going to go and again the reason I'm cutting that stuff out is so I could actually slide the walkway in there so it could attach to the building somehow I trace out the circular piece, put glue around the tracer and pop that on and that's where the walkway is going to go and so I'm going to go ahead with a razor blade cut out a little piece there. What I did is I made a mistake and made it a little bit too low so I had to make a second one and I was able to hide that bottom little hole there um, just with another little piece of cardboard when it was finished and uh, you know add glue to that around those edges and pop on that top piece and that's where the walkway is going to stick through. You could do it to the other side and what I did with this here is this building is basically just a two-sided building uh, you know I just designed this for one simple little shot um, what I'm doing here is I'm adding strips of cardboard on top of this because it gives it more layer and more detail. And I'm going to add cardboard little strip on top of those little strips, you know, and it's really about just layering it up and building detail and, and whatnot. Um, you know, so from here, it's just continually just adding pieces, adding pieces. Now, you know, you could design any kind of building you want. You can make a castle, you can make a house, you could do anything uh, with a miniature miniatures using cardboard and you know just have like sturdy cardboard like a pizza box you know which is what I'm using for the primary pieces as you could see here and then you know uh, various other kinds of cardboard like cereal box uh, cardboard to help smooth out some of that stuff and, and just add little highlights and accentuate accentuate the building 
um, you know, just little pieces that I'm adding, little pieces. There's that cereal box cardboard, and I'm using that, as you can see right there, to hide the gaps or to hide the seam. And that's kind of what the building's pretty much going to look like. Um, you know, here just measuring it out and cutting out more pieces. And what I'm doing with this is I'm creating the top of the building. Um, the building has no bottom and it has no top and it has no back. It just has two sides and it's, it's designed that way just for a simplistic straight on shot. And uh, this is the roof section here, what I'm doing. And, and it's, it's important when you glue it, you do want to glue it so it's secure and get glue in the back and, and just kind of make sure it's, it's, it's secure and not glued too loosely because you don't want it falling apart on you when you're finished with it. Uh, what I'm doing here, again, cutting out strips. Uh, this whole process, you got to have patience for this. Uh, this whole thing took me about a day to make, or, well, probably about six hours, seven hours to make this whole building from beginning to end. Uh, what I did here is I went ahead to hide the side gaps is I used straws. Again, because this building is such a small scale, it's, it's you know, the detail is, is you'll get such great detail in, in these cardboard buildings if you can build it on a bigger scale which is what you should do but this is great for a play set for a kid or actually an actual movie prop um, now that's uh, the the pathway there you go ahead you give it a primer with whatever color paint you want preferably a water-based paint what I'm doing there is adding in all these little tiles um, and this is a time-consuming process. I wish I did it this quickly, um, but this took a little time to do. And uh, because it still doesn't look good, I'm, I'm going in with a pen and just adding all these little various details that you could see on there to, to really break it up. Because right there, that's just a flat circle. But what I'm doing by adding all these little colored tiles and all these little lines in there is I'm breaking it up and, and giving it more of a dimension to it that's, that's not really there. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm distressing it. You go ahead with a little bit of uh, latex flat black paint and uh, you pretty much what I'm doing there and uh, I used a Q-tip this time because it's such a small model and the tip of that Q-tip is damp and then I'll flip it over and, and just kind of smear it around and spread it around. The important thing is I went a little bit too far in this distressing. You don't really want to distress it too much. Um, here I painted the straw silver and I went ahead and started painting this building various shades of gray. Uh, I used white and gray uh, latex based paint because I could, or I'm sorry, white and black latex based paint because what I could do is make various tones of gray with it. Um, that's kind of what the building looks like and now you go into distressing and if you're going to use gray tones you're going to want to really distress it with a dark gray color not necessarily black. But, um, you know, this just kind of helps tone it down, give it its weight, and that's kind of what it looks like there. Um, you know, what I'm doing to the actual building, the same thing I did with that little launch pad. You could see all those little lines that, again, just breaks it up and gives it dimension. And then with the black paint, a little line there. And you could see there with the little Q-tip how you just smear it and blend it. What I'm doing here is you've got to cut, cut off those side pieces at the very end. And that way, now see how that is, you can actually stick it right into the uh, opening. What I'm doing now is I need to create a little tiny door uh, that's going into the walkway. And uh, with the cardboard is the primary piece. And I just did a little design with the cereal box cardboard. Um, and I'm able to cut that out like I'm doing right there. And, and I'm going to attach that to uh, a sturdier piece of cardboard. And that's going to attach to the door and there's the frame of the door out of the pizza box cardboard and and now go ahead slap some paint on that paint it whatever color you like but uh you know it's all in the detailing and uh you know decided to keep it in tone paint it kind of various tones and shades of gray and then i could go ahead now and just kind of get in there and distress that again with the little brush and uh you know that's pretty much your door and uh, all these little pieces here I decided I could take apart just little various things that you could find. Legos, that came from a woman's sh lady's uh, shaver, painted them silver, popped them onto that platform because, you know, you know it could be anything, uh, especially at that scale. So that's pretty much that. Glue that walkway in there. Now when on the back of that you're going to want to add extra cardboard to the back and what I'm doing right here that's the walkway and that attaches the walkway. You want to make sure it's not just glued in there but it has a lot of glue in there to make it secure and add the doorway to it and that's pretty much your miniature model. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video tutorial on how to make a miniature building. I will be doing another VT very soon.